Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at a much better way to modify DOM styles using classes. So let's look over at Adam and you can see that I've added a style sheet right here. I have three classes, dot red, dot green, and dot big, and they just change the color of the text and big makes it the font size larger. So now we're going to learn how we can modify the styles on an element. This is the preferred way to modify page styles because of the same reason that it's better to simply add classes and IDs to your HTML. It's much more sustainable. You can change something in one place and have it applied to your entire code base instead of having to update every single page individually, which gets very annoying very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the list of styles that are already applied to something. So document.querySelector Let's just get the first paragraph tag on there. And now we're going to do dot class list. And you can see there's nothing there. Length is zero. So there's no classes on that yet. However, if we pull up class list again and do dot add, you can give it a name. So if I add red to it, it now has the red class added to it. And if I call class list again now, you can see that it has red on there. And just like you would suspect, dot remove lets you take classes off. So now that's been removed, and if I look at the class list again, there's nothing on there because I removed the red class. And you can do the same thing with other classes. So I might do big. Now it's larger. Green. Now it's green and larger. And if I just look at class list, you can see that they're both on there. Dot remove, green. And you just play around, and obviously you can just do this as much as you want. This is super useful if you are trying to do like um, drop down menus. Whenever you see like a drop down menu that you click on um, that pops in and then goes away, oftentimes this is what they're doing, where they're modifying the class, and the class is just hidden or shown, and they're just doing display none, and they're taking adding that class and then removing that class, which leads nicely into one more. There's add, there's remove, there's also toggle which does, ex again, exactly what you think. Toggle green. If green's on there, it'll take it off. If it's not on there, it'll put it on. So that way, you, if you've got something you just kind of toggle off and on, you can just do that forever. Toggle is super useful. One thing to note is that the class list is not an array. It is a property. It's a read-only list. Okay, you cannot modify this directly. The only way you can modify it is by using those add, remove, toggle methods that we discussed. You cannot change this directly. So I can't do class list dot push anything. It's not a function. It doesn't work that way. You cannot modify this directly. It's not an array. Keep that in mind. And that is it for this video. Very simple to add and remove and toggle classes. To add them is simply element.classlist.add. Remove them is element.classlist.remove. Or you can do element.classlist.toggle to toggle it off and on. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks. <laughs>